Hello there. This video is actually a request from one of you guys out there who want to know a bit more about the efficiency information that's available in the Q4 Utron and a bit about how the preconditioning works. We'll start with Efficiency Assist, which uses multiple sensors to look up what's going up in the road ahead and display icons in the virtual cockpit to give you an indication of when you should back off to save some energy. These predictive messages don't work in dynamic mode and they don't work when the cruise control is active. So you can switch automatic recuperation on or off and you can switch the predictive messages on or off if you press the screen hard enough. The other thing that I thought I mentioned while we're in here is this is the menu where you find range mode as well. Range mode limits you to 56 miles an hour and switches all the heating and air conditioning off just to extend your range a bit. While you're driving, you can have a little bar up which shows your current energy usage, which goes up and down wildly as you accelerate or brake. And the predictive messages pop up looking like this one here where it says slow down roundabout. The driver assist messages come up at the same part of the screen. So at this point, I'm coming into a 40, so it breaks me down. I'm just slightly catching up with the vehicle in front, so it also highlights that for me. But it's gradually breaking me down for the 40, and it'll also slow me down to try and keep me two seconds away from the car in front. This is just coming at 40 now, and the speed's dropped to under 40 because the vehicle in front's under 40, and it also slows us down a little bit for that corner that was just coming up there. Also, slows you down for roundabouts, junctions, and if you're on a hill, it'll pop up and say gradient. And there's a little foot icon there just saying lift off. So looking at preconditioning, when you go into the charging and efficiency section, there's not actually anywhere you can tell at a departure time. In the charging, you can see if you're currently charging, what your current status is, what your target charge is, and that's it. When you stop the car, you do get a menu up where you can set the alarm interior monitor on and you can set a timer for the auxiliary air conditioning so you can set a departure time to preheat the interior of the car but as far as I can tell it does nothing for the battery. The settings for the auxiliary air conditioning are set on the app so you can pick whether you want the glass heated, whether you want the left or right front heated seats on and you can set the settings or you can start immediately from the app or you can set a timer on the app. But again, only for preheating the interior or cooling the interior, not the battery. There's no mention in the manual anywhere about preconditioning for the battery. I did find an article online interviewing a couple of Audi executives who seem to suggest that thermal management is a thing for if you're charging on AC. But given that the car has no way to set a departure time or to delay a charge, and the app doesn't allow you to do that either, I'm not sure how the car would know what time to precondition the battery for. I'll put a link to the article in the description so you can see what I found. If you know any better about battery preconditioning, please comment, let me know. As ever, thanks for watching.